Sean Adam, and we're doing another Bedtime Stories. Today, Mama's going to read again. So, now we're going to see Mama. So, can I have the camera, please? Thank you. I need to see Mama, so I need to hold the camera. So, what book are we reading today, Mama? Hello, everyone. Hello, Adam. My cameraman. <laughs> I'm reading The Very Hungry Caterpillar by Eric Carley. Illustrated by who? Illustrated by... Let me see if I open the book. Must be by Eric Carley, too, because there's no mm -hmm. illustrated name. Okay, let's begin. Yeah. In the light of the moon, a little egg lay on a leaf. One Sunday morning, the warm sun came up and pop! Out of the egg came a tiny and very hungry caterpillar. The caterpillar is a bit too small to see, but it's there. It's there. He started to look for some food. On Monday, he ate through one apple, but he was still hungry. Yeah, now we can see it better. On Tuesday, he ate through two pears, but he was still hungry. On Wednesday, he ate through three plums, but he was still hungry. Let's see what happens on Thursday. He ate through four strawberries, but he was still hungry. On Friday, he ate through five oranges, but he was still hungry. Next time we'll do it together. On Saturday, he ate through one piece of chocolate cake, one ice cream cone, one pickle, one slice of Swiss cheese, one slice of salami, one lollipop, one piece of cherry pie, one sausage, one cupcake, and one slice of watermelon. That, may, that night, he had a stomachache. Ooh, stomachache. The next day was Sunday again. The caterpillar was ate through one nice green leaf and after that he felt much better. Now he wasn't hungry anymore, and he wasn't a little caterpillar anymore. He was a big, fat caterpillar. He built a small house called a... Cocoon. Around himself. He stayed inside for more than two weeks. Then he nibbled a hole in the cocoon, pushed his way out, and... What did he look like? Ooh, chubby chubby. He was a beautiful butterfly. That will happen to caterpillars when they go into a cocoon. Soon they'll burst out as a beautiful butterfly. Thank you for joining me tonight, reading The Very Hungry Caterpillar. Good night and sweet dreams. Okay, same thing what Mama said. Have a good night with dreams. Uh-huh.